breakfast for the champions. This is nat natto or fermented soybean. I used to love eating this as a kid, but nowadays <laughs> I don't really like it, but I'm trying to revisit my childhood. It's very slimy, but it's very healthy. I'm supposed to eat it on top of rice. Mm. I think I'll, I don't, I don't like it. No. We out here in front of the bike store, about to bike Naoshima Island. And uh, they said a lot, got a lot of hills, but they said we recommend an e-bike, but I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna do regular bike, cause I'm a boss. You know I work out every day, you guys see me. So I'm gonna bike up them hills. I lived in San Francisco for 10 years and hills don't scare me. Right, Sherry? How come you talk like that? Talk like what? How come you talk like that? A ladybug pumpkin. We're out here in Naoshima doing an excellent bike ride. My wife's seat is too short, but it's all good. This reminds me of a bike ride I do uh, almost once a week in San Francisco called Hawk Hill, but it's a straight up death climb. The labyrinth of the cherry blossom. There's no cherry blossoms right now, but you just gotta imagine that we're in the middle of April and everything is so pink really and nice. beautiful, huh? Beautiful. All right, the museum. About to check it out. Okay. Careful, careful, Basil. Overtake, overtake. Naoshima is just really, really cool for artsy stuff. Your boy is also very artsy. These are where the dead people sleep. Rest in peace to all my fallen families. Always stay humble, always. Don't forget your roots and where you came from and always respect your elders, folks. Even though I might become a super famous YouTuber one day, I will never forget my family and my friends and the folks that have been with me since day one. Amen. This pumpkin, as with many artworks here on Naoshima, represents an artist called... What's the artist's name, Leah? Yayoi Kusama. The artist's name is Yayoi Kusama, who is a very, very famous artist here in Japan. Yayoi Kusama's famous exhibition is called Infinity Spheres. So look it up on Google, and I am sure you will recognize it. Whee! We got the Lee Ufan Museum. I don't recommend the museum, but I recommend here for the great views and the great picturesque opportunities. Look at these nice quaint little island homes here. Living the simple life. This is the bell of the ball, folks. It is a pagoda in the middle of a pond overlooking the ocean and the mountains. And I don't understand art at all, guys. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but wow. This is just so beautiful and pristine. We just finished our biking self-guided tour of Naoshima and that was amazing. Especially if you love artwork, this is the place to go. Now we're taking the Nozomi or the bullet train Shinkansen from Okayama all the way to Hiroshima. It's about a 30 minute zippity doo dah ride. Pro tip, we got non-reserved seats. So basically, just buy a ticket and hop on the train. Oh crap, we're on the wrong platform. Are we on the wrong platform? We made the train. Now you gotta be in quiet. Put your phone on manner mode while we zip to Hiroshima. Everywhere you go, guys, Shen Yun will haunt your dreams. Even in Japan, Shen Yun 2023. That was an emotionally powerful Hiroshima atomic bomb museum. I got to see firsthand the atrocities of the atomic bomb and the war, and it was very, very saddening to see thousands of people lost their life over war. There should be no war in the world because it, no amount of justification is worth the deaths of millions of civilians. So in Japan, folks love to line up, and uh, especially if it's got good reviews on their internal Yelp called Taberogu, people will line up for hours. This is the most famous okonomiyaki place in Hiroshima and the line wraps around the block. People love lining up because it's that anticipation of getting something good. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys like queuing up 
as they say in the UK, or you'll just take anything down the street because this restaurant is the only restaurant with lines here. Every single restaurant is open and no lines except for this one. So we call this type of food B-class gourmet. The ingredients are very simple. Rice, egg, onion, meat, sauce. But it's the preparation that gives it the gourmet. That's what the Japanese culture is. You take something very simple and you refine it to perfection. Mmm. All right, folks, I just took a 40 minute nap. We took a ferry to Itsukushima, a tiny island right outside the Hiroshima port. Now we are gonna go visit a couple shrines with the homies and pay our respects to our elders. Oh dear, I forgot to mention, there's a lot of deer here. Oh dear. Deer poop, man. Deers are cute and all, but they're devils. Cute on the outside, devil on the inside. Just like my, my me, just like me. So peaceful here, except all the tourists. Japan just opened, so it is popping already. Hi. I got a Momiji Manju, the famous food here. Mmm. Azuki no Naka. The choco or the chocolate. Ah, uh, chocolate's not good. The azuki red bean one is the best one for sure. <laughs> 